Hello everyone, my name is Grete here from 01gaming.com and newcastgaming.com. Today I was just going through the ladder and I came across this play. This is the second game in a row where a toss decided to do this. Now I know this is a lower la ladder, but as a lot of us are potentially in lower ladders, I thought I'd go ahead and share this with you. So basically what it is, is cheese. Stinky, stinky cheese. Uh, so the stinky cheese sends this scout right away. And I'm not gonna lie, my macro is pretty bad in this game, it was horrible. But in any case, I'm basically going to go for a basic two rack expand, and you see his scout there. I send a SCV off to get him right away, just because I I had a hunch that I was going to get cheese, just because of the fact that the last game that's what happened. And when he came back, that was that was my communication. So first off, trying to pull those off the line should know better. Trying to chase down a uh, trying to chase down any Protoss that's probably a bad idea. Don't chase probes, folks. Don't chase probes. And then, yeah. There's the first pylon. This thing looks like a, a mosquito. You know what a mosquito is like where you sit there and it sit, keeps buzzing in your ear and you try to swing at it and you just cannot hit the damn thing? Yeah, this probe was exactly that. It was a mosquito. And as you can imagine, you know exactly what's going on. While that's going on, I got my own scout going on down here. And it, he's went ahead and built a forge. And the reason for that forge was... You got it! Photon Cannon. And I was really, really hoping that I would get this pylon down in time. It was not going to go down in time. Because of that force field, yeah. Right. This kind of do is go bit. Let's see. You got the one thing I find interesting. He had this probe just hiding down here. He was ready to go with that again. Of course, because of my command center that's going up there, I could see that he was coming. And I got to chase him off. That probe obviously didn't make it too far though. Anyway, back to this. Got a third rack going down since I have a second command center that is all up and starting to get myself some minerals. And we're going to get rid of those damn pylons. I don't care what anyone says, that was six marines. Four of them went for the greater good, but I got that cannon out of there. I've got pylons leaving now. And here was what my, my thinking was at this point. Is, alright, so he's cheesing me. If he's cheesing me that hard and putting that much macro into what he's doing up here, he's not doing a whole lot down here. And look at that. He, he really wasn't. He's finally getting a third gate down, and I believe, yeah, there's his fourth gate. But by that point, oh look, five racks. Yes, I know, that is an awful lot of racks. Some of you would say that is a shitload of racks, and I didn't need that many. Au contraire. I had a hunch the cheesing would continue. I had a, this, this gut feeling. That was gonna happen with just a little bit more. You just wait. There's that sneaky little bastard again, just hanging around. And watch what he does with his gateways. We're gonna get one more down there from that. And I'm just gonna sit there and pump out Marines and I'm gonna pump out a couple Marauders. The other thing I did, yep, there's my engineering bay. Started getting upgrades because if I was gonna go into a firefight, I was gonna go in with better weapons. It just seems to make sense, I thought. Alright, so there goes more Marines Marauders. Oh, they got it right now. Yeah. That's uh, 16 Marines. Well, here, we can just pull this up. Yeah. Nine, 18 Marines, excuse me. And notice how he only has the probes. Now he's starting to warp and stalk us, and he's warping them in right there. If you look at this, I can't see it. I cannot see this up here. So, so far not a horrible idea, except for one thing. With ghosts like this, even here I still can't see them. Uh, because of cheeses like this, what I tend to do, and there if you get an idea what I want, but I go and I usually do a ghost expansion. So normally I take an, ex uh, I'm gonna pause it right there for a second. So the idea was that SCV that I just sacrificed, the idea was to get him over here, 
in this area, which has not been seen, has not been scouted, and put up a ghost expansion. So even if he did make it into my base, I could start getting something going here. Makes sense, right? Well, let's go back to this, because he's got a total of 10 stalkers to my 24 marines and 2 marauders. Now, the marauders aren't doing a whole lot, but with marines, that... Oh, they didn't even get... I didn't even get to start that. He got to jump on me too soon. So it was this combat shield I had. Anyway. Focus fire is important. Focus fire is very, very important. You can see down here, he had nothing else going on. He had a single cannon, which had I marched in on this, it could have done damage. He could have probably held up the fight for a while, but it it was not going to go down that well. Anyway, the whole point of showing this to you was you can go ahead and cheese and you might get some cheap wins, but when you got something that's actually considered a useful build, like two rack expand into whatever else you need to do, in my case, three additional racks, you probably won't hold up so well. And I wanted to share that with everyone. If, I don't know. If you guys cheese, that's your thing, I guess, but I, I'm just, I decided that I had to shut those down. So, thanks everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. G&H, right. Adios.